Hello again. Oh, doing the greetings is always difficult. Hello again. Hello, today's video I decided that I wanted to give you a tour of our flat. Partly because our friends are spread across the country and haven't got a chance to see it yet. Another reason is because Kat really loves property programmes and nosing around other people's houses and I kind of think there's a handful of people like that out there as well. And because I really like showing off the things that we've hoarded, so here's our flat. So here we have our living room and right in front of the door is our slowly increasing collection of laser discs which I just bought Lion King on it quite recently. It's our new and lovely record player that was made by HMV. I didn't know that they made wooden record players back in the past, but obviously they did, because here is the little doggy. Focus. There you go, and zoom in. Zoom out. And then we have the desk where I do some sewing on. So there's some dolls that I've been making little outfits for. And then along here is where I do my makeup and we have our TARDIS telephone which is the best purchase, the best £15 that we ever did spend in our relationship. The TV where it has the whole Xbox, Playstation 3, laser player, Wii, my hard drive and my Mac always lives down there and to the side we have the little dinosaurs that I bought cat for moving in present. Our lovely place, which it seems to not be also focusing on at all. Then we have my game collection, which this is only half of it because the other games are at my mum's house. And on top of that we have my Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller, because I'm that nerdy. So we have our DVD collection and some of my doll collection. And then the doll collection kind of carries on next to the DVD collection. Oh dear God, I have an obsession. Where we have Cat's book collection. So she gets ready in the mirror here. Oh, and Cat made this wonderful massive collage of things as well. And then just to the side of this little part of the corridor, we have the butler's pantry where we house all of our junk. And then out of the butler's pantry, we go into the kitchen and we have these huge, huge cupboards. The table that was donated by Kat's mum and the chairs that were from Kat's auntie. all the way up to the ceiling and we use this one to store food in because it's quite quaint and whatnot. And then we go back into the hallway to the basement and this is kind of exciting because I love the basement. This is where Kat's allowed to display all of her toys. I don't know if you can see it that well but uh, all of her Star Wars toys and whatnot because she's not allowed to have them on the doll shelves because they just look wrong. For once we actually have a lovely big bath to have baths in when we're feeling extravagant. This is the most exciting thing, you can have a shower and learn about the Antarctica. The Antarctica, there's only one Antarctica. Our lovely double bed. There's another mirror to get ready and whatnot, just in case we have a lot of mirrors, I'm quite vain. Over to my side of the bed, which is a very tiny gap. Oh, that's a struggle. My PSP for when I want to be lazy and play games in bed in the morning after a nice lie-in. I'm currently playing Joan of Arc, a nice little JRPG. And then we have the wonderful curtains that I made from some Ikea fabric. This is our wardrobe that's packed to the brim because we keep buying new clothes from charity shops. Lovely dressing gowns which I'm sure you're excited to see. 
don't think there's anything else exciting except the laser disc player, but that'll be for another day. And we're back into the living room. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tour of our flat and found it vaguely interesting. Mm.